everybody welcome back to my channel and today I thought I'd play around with my jelly plate and I've noticed that in the past the whole paper doesn't come out and I was like why did I buy this jelly plate in particular well it's an 8 by 10 and it was the largest one I could I could afford at the time and I didn't it didn't hit me until after I got it that it wasn't the right size I needed something larger so this was the size I got, and so I'm like, well, how do I deal with it now that it's it's here? <laughs> so what I'm going to do, put that aside, is here's the jelly plate. It's 8 by 10, but as you can see, paper is much bigger, and this is what it does. It leaves these undone edges. And if that's fine if you're wanting to cut them down and all that kind of stuff, which is fine, but I really wanted it to cover the whole page. So I was like, well, dummy, just cut your paper down. So that's what I've done. I've got a stack of this manila. It's a very light cardstock. And I'm going to jelly plate some stuff to put into our Tabitha journal. And let me take this off first and I'm going to be using some uh, Holbein acrylic this is full body and this is luminous opera and Liquitex basics light blue violet and some parchment by Li Liquitex also and Liquitex white so I've got my brayer and we've got our cards now what I did is I just took a regular regular size sheet so there's no waste and all I did was I I cut it in half this way and then I also took long strips of it and cut it into some tag lengths you know all different sizes and shapes and got little ones here we've got some journaling card sizes here Maybe we'll make them into pockets. Who knows? But at least now they fit on the jelly plate and they will be covered. They're not going to be, you know, have edges and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to take some of my paint. Uh, yeah, this is, um, it's <laughs> neon. But when it mixes with the white, it kind of fades it out so it's not so bright. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's take our white. Because our little journal is got a lot of white in it. Put some white next to each one of those. And let's add some blue. Maybe you might be thinking, man, that's a lot of paint. Actually, it's not that much. So I'm just going to run it so we have a nice, pretty pattern this way and you're probably thinking but those cards are so small you don't need it to be that big well see that's the thing you can pick it up like that you can get it up off the edges with those cards so I'm gonna flip that over so it's not touching anything and take some of our large Hard stock and do this. So it's going to be covered. <laughs> so will my hands. As long as I'm careful, I might not get any on my hands. See how pretty that is? But see how we have missed spots? That's when you can just take it. I'm getting it on my hands. I knew it would. And it covers it. And you can do that with all of it. Let's see if I can get some extra picked up here. Yeah, see? I like how that looks. So I'm going to sit that to the side. I like that how that looks and I'm just gonna re-roll this and 
And I think I might add some of our cream here. Help pick this up. All we're doing is just basically re-wetting it. a second for it to pick up. I know my nails still look like garbage. Haven't had a chance to do them. And see so we have this missing piece here. We'll just flip it over and I have a corner missing. That's not a big deal. I love these colors. You can see how it gets a little lighter as you go. But now I'm going to take some of my little pieces. And I mean, you could probably take the roller and go back over it if you wanted to. Let's see how that. Just pick that up. And let's see, right in here. And I don't worry about little paint smudges on the back because I can always cover it with coffee stained paper. Ooh, that's pretty. And see how they all come out different too, so you don't have to Gorgeous. You don't have to worry about them coming out all the same. Let's see. I forgot to get a wet rag to clean this up with. we're getting and let's see let's add pick some of this up and I'll add a little bit more blue maybe blue mm. No. We'll, we'll use the white. And I will stay within the color palette so that we uh, don't end up with anything that's kind of won't go. Because we want it all to go with the pinks, the blues, the purples. Let's see. Let's do some large tags. And if these need more, you can always go back with other things. Stencils and whatnot. Oh, that's pretty. But it's definitely going to need some more. That's gorgeous. Nice thing about jelly plating too is that the paint is so thin it dries very quickly. Which is, you know, that's 
always a good thing because that means you can work faster and get some things done. That's pretty too. And see, we can do a lot more with this. We can add all sorts of things. But they'll look really good in this journal. wasting paint. It is too expensive to waste. So I just keep going, layering, adding new wet paint. the blue why not it's here might as well okay, we can go back with other colors yellow if we wanted to, greens. Oh, where to put it? <laughs> I'm running out of space. Some more tags. color too. It's so pretty. shapes. organic look on things. I'm not one for a lot of pattern, but the organicness of this, because of where we rollered it, it's picking up those patterns, and I love that. Let's see. Let's take a big one. how this is going to be all the way to the edge. It's not going to be, you know, showing any edges. Okay. 
Come on. Come here. Look at that. That's so neat. Oh, I love it. Even though I'm, I'm going to leave these little because the pattern just looks really cool. I really dig it. I think I might clean up these edges though by using what we have left. Let's see if we can get some more up. This is so much fun to do. And of course, if you don't have a jelly plate, you can use a glass cutting board or something along those lines. We're just picking up as much paint as we can just from one little pass. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, do I have any baby wipes? Yes, I do. Let's clean up our jelly plate. Whoops, come here, you. And this is very little paint. Minimal. Minimal. But yeah, you don't have to have a jelly plate. I have done jelly plating on a glass mat. I've used a silicone mat which works really well. It likes to let things beat up which is kind of cool. It gives you a cool effect. The uh, silicone mat does. Okay, here we go. All clean. Let's see if I can get my fingers cleaned up too. And we've got several things that we can work with now of all different colors and everything, which is really fun. We're going to have a good time with this stuff. And we needed it for our journal, so I think I'll save the, uh, the rest of this card. And we'll just do a second pass on these and see what we can come up with. If I can get all this paint off my fingers. Well, not all of it, but the majority. Okay. So, I'm going to grab a stencil, if I can find one. But, I'm gonna, not going to use a regular stencil. I want to use some lace. And I know you're like, what? It's more random. Gives a little more of a random effect. Which would be cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the whole pink thing. We're just going to use the center of our jelly plate here and just add just a little bit of paint like that and like so. And then we'll mix it so it ends up a prettier pink, not so. Okay, now this pink we're going to use on this, on the blue. So let me find the, uh, yeah, the lace is sitting right here in front of my face. Okay, now we're just going to take this, turn it upside down. Cross your fingers, folks. I hope this works. pattern and I like that it's not too over too overdone but see what it left ha 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 this is a little bit wet on the back but not bad let me grab which one 
Let's do yeah, this other blue one. neat. Oh, I like that. Choose this one. And just a hint on here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Just a hint of it, which is perfect. All right, and we still have, and it's still dry, it's dry already. So let's go and we're gonna switch over to the blue. Oop, that was a little much. It's okay now. And put our lace down. We can pick out some other lace too. Oh, this would be great for the journaling cards. Let's put that to the side. And we'll grab one of our pink. see what we get. Awesome. And the other one, we'll pick this up. And then put this down and pick that up. What did we get? Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Okay. Now what else we've got? We've got the bigger one, so it's got a lot of pink in it. So I'm just going to go refill this with some blue. And it should almost fit. And we'll put this down. Any lace will work, as long as it's the thin stuff, not that thick crocheted stuff, it, it doesn't work as well. You want it to be thinner. left a little bit. We have some blue here and there. Let's see. Get this edge. It still feels like it could benefit from a press. Yeah, that's a little better. I love doing this. It's just, you never know what you're going to come up with. 
Ooh, that's gorgeous. Let me see if I can show you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That has got some beautiful pattern to it. And the colors. There. Let me see if I can get a good a good shot of it. Love it. Let's see, what else? <coughs> what else have we got that we can pick some more of this up with? I can't wait too long or it won't pick up at all. some more gorgeous loving it corner add a little bit of white or it's cream actually This is just the side I rollered. The other side has the pattern. No, it didn't pick it up. Might pick it up for the next one though. If you hear snoring behind me, it's Lucy. <laughs> She's taking her mid-afternoon nap. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. Very cool. I have one last thing I want to try. That left a little bit of a smattering of the pattern in there, which is fine. I want to try. This had something on it. Uh oh. Get off there. So I'm going to lay this down. Lay this. Which way should I go with this? Yeah, let's let's do that. And we're going to go with, I just want a little bit of this. I want to see what will happen. Because <laughs> I'm weird that way. Come on. It's not going to do it. Nope, didn't do it. Okay. So we have that. Let's. Oh, goodness. I want to try and pick up stuff. Wasn't too thrilled with this one anyway, so we can always just. Play with it. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing around now. I'm probably doing this backwards or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
that came out much better. I like the way that looks. So pretty. So yeah, I'm just gonna play until we have no more paint. Let's see. Just a little bit. That's all we're going to get off of that one. All right, so let me uh, clean this up and we are sh we'll look and see what all we have done because I'm sure it's already dry. And, uh, whoops. Some of my favorite colors are blue, purple, and pink. I just I don't know why. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. All clean and ready for our next session. Let me move some of this and our cover. Here is everything we've done. I know you're going, but it's all the same color. Well, they're different in ways because we've got the lace patterns on some, which some of them just came out just really gorgeous. And that's pretty good for one day's work. This one's still wet. There's that one. And our big one. So yeah, we've got quite a stack of things to use in our in our little journal. And you can see how see it's not exactly the same color blue, which is fine because we can always, you know, add things to it that are this more greenish blue. But I definitely wanted that bright pink. So that's going to be cool. And we're going to be able to tone things down with uh, additions and things like that. You know, little snippets and things like that. So this is what we've done today. And if you'd like to see me finish off some of these things, I will be doing that tomorrow on our live feed at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So come by, say hi. And uh, yeah, until my next video, I sure do love you bunches, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.